Hi, I'm Kartha Gewer, and this is Momo. What were we just outside doing, Momo? We were catching butterflies. We both loved butterflies ever since we were little kids, and guess what? What? Guess what, Momo? He's running away because we're about to make a mess! Remember the time I pulled little strings before on a little painting? Well, I used Mardi Gras beads, but this time I was able to find these lovely things. The metal ones, a little bit heavier, a little bit better for a job like this. We are painting a little butterfly and we're just gonna stretch the wings out beautifully. This concept is by designer Gemma77 and the first thing we're gonna do is pour some acrylic white paint onto our already white canvas. This is a very important step because, you know, we don't usually paint white canvases around here. We like black. But every day is a new opportunity to try something different. Something different and unique. Momo, stop sneezing. Momo, are you okay? Now, one of the reasons why we were just out is because we were catching butterflies. And I used to catch butterflies as a kid, and then my dad told me that I was killing them, so I stopped, but I really enjoy butterflies. Another reason we were out is because we're looking for a little friend for Momo. Momo's getting quite old, and we just want to make sure that Momo lives his best life. And I mean, he already is, but he is quite social. So if you have any suggestions for what kind of friend Momo should have, then please let me know. Terry's gonna actually kill me. <laughs> There's lots of great dogs out there, aren't there, Terry? Yep, and they can just stay out there. <laughs> No! Uh, or can't they, Kartha? No, don't call me that. What's your name? My name is Kartha Gewerd. Oh, wow, white just really is white. It looks like I didn't do anything. You didn't. I'm just gonna make sure. It's just that when I do touches later, I'm gonna need to add some white. So it's important for the canvas to be white so that when I do it, it doesn't look like a naked canvas and then a white splotch. Do you know what I need? No, but I'll figure it out. Also, the hard thing about this is I can't tell what I've painted and what I haven't. <laughs> I'm so quirky and different. I feel like I haven't done art in the longest time. And truth be told, it's because I just didn't know what to do. But this idea was just thrown in my lap by the YouTube algorithm. And I'm so glad because I love butterflies. I really do. I'm obsessed with them. I used to like catch butterflies with a little net because my dad told me that if I touched their wings, they would die or something because their wings are like powder. You can rub the powder off of a butterfly's wing. And I just like put them in my living room window with a bunch of flowers and I'd watch the way they eat. And I really liked the way like this, like this filament that was curled up would come out and then it would go into the flower. Like there's just nothing cuter than a butterfly. Just don't look at them too close for too long because then you realize that it's kind of like an ant with giant eyes and wings. It's not very becoming. Okay, so the white coat has been put on. I'm just gonna like kind of move it because there's a lot of white around here. So I'm just gonna like wash this brush, wipe this up, and then we're gonna move on to our butterfly. Oh! Our white canvas is now dry. It looks <laughs> like a white canvas. Perfect. And now we're gonna start by putting little dots of color on this canvas to create our butterfly. I've always been obsessed with butterflies. Like, not just like, I like them a lot. Yeah, I've always been really obsessed with the idea of metamorphosis. Like, I love how butterflies have different lives, you know? It's so cool how they like live life in different stages and they get to experience being completely different forms of being. Like what did butterflies ever do to anybody? Nothing. They're harmless things of beauty and their populations really have dwindled, you know? And that's something that Kartha thinks about all the time. Kartha doesn't want butterflies to go away. They made my childhood so much better. I like it. <laughs> Getting this even? Not easy. He's got a pee pee. And now we're gonna line the inner parts with some orange. These look like little M&Ms, hey? Candy coated chocolate. Bonbons. Oh boy. Oh boy. It does get messy, so you have to be very, very careful. When I was in the fourth grade, the other class got to do that fun little science experiment where you take little caterpillars and you watch them turn into little cocoons, chrysalis, and then butterflies, and then they let the butterflies go in the courtyard. And my class never did that. And I'm never gonna forgive anyone involved with my childhood that I wasn't involved in that. Like I couldn't believe, like I was looking out the window in math class and they were letting these butterflies go. And it was like magic. It was like a magical experience that I never got to have. Maybe Kartha should have it. I need it. I love it. If the world needs anything, it's more butterflies. 
and it breaks my heart that I've never mothered a butterfly. One of the most beautiful moments in my entire life had to do with a butterfly. You know, like people are very ungrateful of like the beauty in the present moment. I know that I am, like I, I don't care usually. Like I'll go like, oh, that was a really good night like three years later and not realize how good the night was the night of. However, one day I was walking in the jungle in Malaysia, climbing up to like the top of this like very dense forest where there's like a water hole you can swim at above it. And like the forest canopy was so heavy it was so humid, so hot, couldn't breathe. Was a little bit scared, honestly, but it was such a magical moment because like the monkeys were like swinging in the trees on top of me and I saw this gigantic butterfly. Like it was big, like it was as big as my face and its wings, like I don't know how that thing got air because its wings were so delicate and it was flapping around in the wind over there and I couldn't believe that I witnessed such a beautiful, delicate, organism existing in such a seemingly hostile environment. It was dense out there, like you could hear stuff, you could hear the old jungle noises, you know what I'm saying? The bongo bongo, ooh the jungle. And like, I, I was scared, but this butterfly, like if this butterfly could make it out there, maybe I could move to the jungle. Oh my goodness, there's a hair on me. You also have orange paint on your forehead. I do? Oh my goodness. It's a messy job being Kartha Gewert, I will say. <laughs> I wanna hear some of your jungle noises. <laughs> Ooh, auga, auga. You know what I mean? The last one sounded kind of odd. Yeah, well, it was a mess. Those wild trains. It was crazy out there, but I just couldn't believe how big and beautiful and delicate and gorgeous. Like, I just. Okay, we get it. I know. I, I can't stop talking about it. Like, you know when you tell your friend a story and you want them to be with you in that story so badly, but they're just like, okay, like, I get it. I wasn't there. But you want them to be there, so you keep talking about it, but then you make them feel even more left out. That's me right now. I don't realize how insensitive I'm being. Okay, so we're gonna call this the first try, all right? So I'm not gonna guarantee that it's going to work, because we just don't know if it will. Okay, so let's get the top of this guy's wing and, like, let's just see what happens. <gasps> oh my goodness. Wow. I love it. Let's get the bottom part of the wing. I just got my dirty fingies. Oh my god. What kind of caterpillar were you? Because you look gorge. Wow. It's so pretty. <laughs> Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a spoon, a little spoon, and we're gonna give him his little antennas. I would use a paintbrush, but we're trying to make this into like a full on happy accident. He's a cutie, hey? And then I'm gonna like kind of mix the color where his body would be. He's a thick boy, hey? <laughs> I say hey a lot, because I'm Canadian. And now we take some white. Oops. Probably should wait till it's dry to do like the correctional stuff, but actually, you know what I could do? I could do what we always do and use white out. Another thing I should probably do is use instead of white pour paint is I should use acrylic for color correction and stuff because it's thicker. So <laughs> I'm not going to do color correction on this until it's dry just because it's going to take a minute to dry because it's a very thick paint. However, what I really want to do right now is paint this background black and then do like three different butterflies and hopefully an inverted monarch on this. Now that we know that the butterfly trick works because I was really skeptical. We know it works now. I'm going to try it on a grander scale. Black canvas, my favorite. And it like matches all my other art, so hopefully this will be the one that we hang. Also, I really want like a silver butterfly, you know, like a silver butterfly with blue in it. Oh, gorgeous. I'm not gonna make you guys sit through like the whole process, so I'll be right back. Now it's time for some ambition. What are you doing? I'm trying something. Cause I thought of something really pretty that I thought I could put the butterflies on top of. The problem is, is I'm not a very good artist. So if this works for me, it can work for you, which is like kind of exciting. And then the top is gonna be more black. And I'm bringing the black down. <laughs> Girl, don't be so thick all the time. how thick this white is, it's not very pigmented. What you doing now? I'm just kinda playing with it until I like it enough, till it's serene enough of a scene where I can put butterflies on top of it and it'll look really cute. It's not there yet, but I'm gonna keep working it until it's there. 
I want the background to be very like black and then for the butterflies to be like the star. Like I want it to be like very black and white and for the butterflies to be like very colored. So I'm like trying to make like a very muted dark background in which the butterflies kind of give light and life to the scenario. I mean, that sounds pretty, but it's me doing it. So <laughs> we'll see. Welcome to the night of the silver butterflies. Now, if these don't look like butterflies, my whole life is ruined, but we'll see. Nice background. Oh, well, thanks. You're welcome. Thank you. <laughs> I'm nervous, but we doing it. We bring me like a pencil. <laughs> what are you doing with that? I'm trying to line like where I want the butterfly to be. Maybe I should do it with Sharpie, honestly. This is gonna be our big boy. Not enough space to get what you need. But we're doing our darndest. This is the, gonna be like the slowest drying butterflies you've ever seen. I can't lie, I want some white in here. What does it want in the painting? Oh, it does. Can't lie, I also want some black. Ooh, there's not a lot of space in here. Girl, girl, stop. Yo, that's kind of pretty though. It's just not what I thought it'd be, but it's pretty. Pink. Man, I really love that butterfly texture that the uh, beads give the wings. Now she's just very silver, you know what I mean? But maybe I can do a second pass. Like a double bubble butterfly. Now I'm kind of like, I'm like wiping it instead of washing it because I want them to like give off this like little like butterfly dust. We're bringing teal back with a spoon. I'm just like spreading it out so I can do a second pass. All right, pass number two. Yep. Not incredible. I think I'm gonna use less on the outskirts for the next one because like she's pretty, but she's not as colorful as we need her to be. That's a botched butterfly. So what I'm doing now is I'm using a bigger bead and I put some teal on the outskirts. So we'll see how this goes for a little science experiment. Ah, that's pretty good. I mean, it's all right. Ew, I'm gonna go back to our friends. There we go. That's what we're looking for. Yeah, I just need to use less of the outer color because it's very overpowering. <laughs> Next, this time with less paint. Get off. There's too much of you. Get off. You're messing this up. Yeah. <laughs> all, your, all your paintings, all your paints. Yeah, it's not great. It's true artist's den. She's a mess, but I have a feeling she's gonna be a gorgeous girl. Ooh, that's a nice wing, hey? Dang, you really gotta get that outer layer thin. Because again, the silver is overpowering everything else. Why are hand painting this one? Well, these are like the close up ones where you can like see the texture of the wing and then I'm gonna do like some far away ones that aren't like completely gambling because I hate gambling. I'm dirty! Giving them some shape. Yeah, you know how it is. Just making them thick, making them alluring. The butterfly up here was like a lot easier to do. I mean, he's not done yet, but like he's a lot easier to do than this big monster because like this paint is so thick. When I was little, I had these little butterfly magnets that I put on my fridge, and I realized that these two look very, very similar to them. I feel like they don't actually look like butterflies. They look like the magnets that I had on my fridge growing up, but I think that the butterfly with the string pull method like really worked, but with this, I kind of had to like paint them because it was not cute, but I'm happy with how this baby turned out. It's pretty magical. Sometimes you just can't rely on- Yeah, sometimes you can't gamble. Sometimes you can't rely on those techniques. Yeah, I guess not. But I hope that you guys like this painting. Let me know what you think about it and the first one as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to see me again, make sure you, uh, you hit push notifications. I forgot. Yeah, I slept, I didn't sleep last night. Momo? Don't worry, Momo, food's on the way. I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.